Welcome Taurus to your mid-May reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're gonna do a general read for you guys like we did last month. A quick general read using these cards and then right after that we'll shoot over and do the love reading if you're not interested in the general read you could go ahead and check out the description box below the timestamp for the love reading okay so let's go ahead and jump right in and see what's coming through for you guys welcome Taurus to your general read let's see what is coming through now just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. These are called the Soul Tree Oracle cards. We have Live From The Heart. Resilience, this is amazing. Heal heart and spirit. Teach. Oh, big message here. Bottom of the deck, mystery. Now we're going to use the vessel cards. Structure. Self-doubt. Power. We have communication and boundaries. Bottom of the deck, freedom. Now we're going to go ahead and pull some tarot if you are interested in this deck it's called the gentle heart tarot deck with the guidebook it's by vanessa zamaya Ooh, we have the three of swords we have the king of pentacles here with the Four of Swords. I feel like grabbing one more for you guys. Page of Swords here. Overall energy is the Fool. Within your journey, I feel that you have gained a lot of knowledge and understanding about life. So I feel like you are expanding your journey here, but could be going through some self-doubt due to possible some uh, challenges here. Now the resilience is amazing, but also to get the card resilience, it's mostly going through really tough times in life. Maybe some issues or traumas that you know a lot of people do not talk about here. Are situations in your life where you feel that not a lot of people have gone through? Are not feeling like a lot of people understand you here okay but i feel that you're needing to trust yourself within the situation because we have power and heal your heart heal heart and spirit and we also have healing okay so what comes healing is turning a lot of darkness within light going through the depression going through dark phases are uh, dark times right and pulling yourself out with this power card now there could be self-doubt as in moving moving forward or towards a passion or um, making decisions but i feel like this is more of the toxic part that you're releasing right the, the three of swords is showing me that there could have been a lot of disappointments um you know you've been hurt before you probably felt stabbed in the back you've been through some trials okay now the two of cups so this could be some partnership working together um, collaborating with someone or an emotional bond that is invested um, with someone particular in your life now this could also be romance but I do feel like you are taking your power back and gaining that 
courage because you do have the inner will to speak something within you and to teach okay so it's showing here with this teach card that spirit has your back first of all so you could be feeling guided to do this passion or to to communicate what you've been through in life okay with this resilience card and all of the um wisdom you've gained and all the experience. I feel like this is for more of a Taurus who is wanting to express themselves, maybe wanting to help others here. Uh, this also could be a lot of releasing from the past and now living from your heart as you're healing because it's like you've been through so much in life. I feel like you're the one that had to get yourself out, okay? because maybe you were feeling misunderstood, no one was hearing you, or you feel like you couldn't have people help you because they were not in your shoes. But I do see a lot of progress, a lot of, a lot of you could either be wanting to be a teacher or some mentor or motivational speaker or inspirational speaker, however, maybe going to school for something, maybe learning something here. But it is showing like, this is a new beautiful journey and I feel like once free, freedom's here to say, once this self-doubt is out of the way or any fear of what it could be, that's where you're feeling free, okay? Because it's the overall energy with this full card, the moon. This could be fearing the unknown, feeling what could happen, okay? And fear can't be trusted in my opinion at all, right? But the moon is things that are happening behind the scenes. What's this? The temperance. Wow. Okay. What's this behind? Six of crystals. This is victory. This is taking leadership, everything back in your life, taking leadership. This is a huge message for someone. Again, it might not resonate with all of you with this reading, but this is someone that is, has a big purpose in life, right? Where it has to do with helping others and using your knowledge, your experience, and having that inner power to take on this big purpose in your life. I feel like there could be self-doubt that you might be feeling like you're you're not able to do this for some reason. It could be maybe people around you um, or uh, you're not believing yourself here, but spirit is here. So what it, So you could be seeing synchronicities, follow those synchronicities, ask for signs for the universe when this kicks in, okay? But I feel like anybody who comes in your life, you are gonna set some boundaries here that is going to interrupt you from your path. This is a Taurus that is becoming free and trusting themselves and gaining the confidence to move forward and it's all for victory. You have a lot of wisdom here, Taurus. Lots and lots of wisdom, okay? This is resilience here. So this is going through the toughest times in life and pulling yourself out. On the Four of Swords could be a lot of self-healing involved. Page of Swords can be people saying things without thinking, right? This could be communication to where you're having to stop these type of pages energies from coming through to interrupt your peace. So I feel like the, the message here is to believe in yourself and to go after your dreams, to go after your passion and not to listen to the self-doubt. As you can see in the mirror, it has the toxicity there in the mirror. So it's needing to be kind to yourself and mute the people that don't inspire you, okay? You gotta mute them, <laughs> which I feel like you're doing here. But we do have this King of Diamonds. This is all about abundance financially, okay? This is you, the King of Diamonds is the King of Pentacles. Abundant, loyal, loving, caring, okay? You're coming up as a king, male or female, in this reading, taking power of your life, control. This is like shedding away the old ways of thinking. Freedom is here really strongly, and we have lots of healing. I feel like somebody is, is purpose here, or to teach, to help others, to guide others, um, maybe spiritually, or wanting to do something in that role here okay loving this reading but it's saying to trust the unknown listen to your spirit guides when going through the unknown they will guide you to the path okay all right guys i'm gonna leave it here this is absolutely a beautiful beautiful quick message um i really do hope that you guys liked it but we're gonna shoot over to your love reading now see you there 
Welcome Taurus to your love reading. If you did watch the general, I hope you guys did like it for the ones who stood and watched it. Um, anyways, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And this is how we do things here. So we're going to use this deck to pull some energies, do some tarot. And at the end of the reading, we're going to pull these lovers of oracles followed by these hidden messages from your person. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it and see what's coming in for you guys. We have the lovers in reverse. The shadow in reverse. And the magician in reverse. A lot of reversals here. And then we have the five of rings, which is the five of pentacles. Ooh, and the four of wands. And the eight of pentacles. Now again, just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Let's see what we have. We have the Six of Cups. Ten of Cups, loving it. The King of Pentacles, there you are again. The Ace of Cups. Two of Cups, the Moon, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Six of Swords, and Three of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, Taurus, so I do see that we have the lovers in reverse and the shadow side. So you could be letting go of somebody here or having some struggles in a relationship, marriage, or maybe somebody that you're talking to. Um, the shadow is here, so this is all about releasing anything that is negative. This is releasing the old ways of thinking, releasing the past, maybe coming over some shadow uh, parts of yourself. Also, I feel like you possibly have is dealing with somebody's shadow side. Now, again, this could have been in the past, present, or something you're coming out of. I feel like you already did your shadow work because you're no longer wanting, you're no longer manifesting the situation, but there also could have been a lot of trickery, you know, confusion here with this soulmate, okay? So this could have been a soulmate that didn't work out, maybe went down the wrong path. I do believe you could have more than one soulmate. That's just me though. Um, the Six of Swords energy is coming in, so I feel like you are moving on from this Three of Swords energy and healing yourself and releasing the past, right? Um, but I feel like an energy of the past is coming in, the, the past is being releasing, but then something as in like possibly this person could have already came back or coming back in your life. Um, because we have here this energy of the past. So somebody wanting to come towards you, but at the same time, we do have this Ace of Cups. So this is new beginnings in love. So, and loving yourself here. So there's like a lot of feeling of the past and something new. It's like a transition. We do have um, this Five of Pentacles. So some type of recovery. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold here. This could be either you or your person, but you're coming up as the King of Pentacles. No matter what, even though it's in the challenge position, this is more stating that you are gaining the inner will to move forward. You're gaining your strength strength back. You're feeling confident again, not really looking for too, too love right now. I feel like you guys are focusing on your pentacles. We have lots of pentacles here. We have the set. Oh, see, we have the three of pentacles, the five of <laughs> the five of pentacles. We do have the four of swords. So again, separation, self-healing, um, three of pentacles, somebody wanting to collaborate. Now this is looking you know, a life review here. So I'm feeling like the overall energy is that someone could be looking at the situation long term. All right, seeing if it has potential. But either way, we do have the past coming in pretty strong. Now, and also new love or a recommitment, something going on here. Um, this energy 
feels like a transition of some sort. And the two cards in the middle is the moon and the 10 of cups. What you don't see coming is this four of pentacles. So I feel like there's some blockages and delays here within something that made you very happy. But I feel like you are in the process of, I feel like the Taurus I'm connecting with though is already happy, very naturally happy anyways. Okay, this is someone I feel um, picks themselves up and continues to go on their journey. Now, I feel like you guys are going towards something new. Yes, maybe not knowing someone's coming in because we have the moon. So this is things that are happening behind the scenes. Also, I feel a lot of you are, you know, trusting your intuition going through the unknown here. But due to this heartbreak and the six of wands, again, you're moving on mentally, emotionally, but there was an, a lot of emotions here. But also this could be somebody new coming in, okay? With this two of cups, no, it's six of cups though, man. Six of cups, that is strong past energy. A lot of you probably don't even wanna hear about the past, but it's here. So it's still lingering. I feel like this happily ever after is coming in and whatever is coming in is a divine connection, okay? You could have dealt with a person who had a very dark side to them or maybe going through something here um, and not really able to open up at this time. But either way, I feel that your happily ever after is just around the corner and the nine of wands energy is that you're not really going to let anybody in, especially if you've been hurt before and had to pull yourself out multiple times. So I feel like someone that you want in your life is going to be trustworthy, committed, consistent. And this is like thinking long term. So it's like, does this person have potential to be something more? Are they going to be solid? I'm not saying you're I'm not saying that this person has to be perfect, but definitely someone who already worked on their shadow side. I don't feel like you're wanting to deal with any more anybody else's shadow side because you can see right through that, especially if you had to pick yourself up multiple times getting out of situations. Again, what you don't see coming is this four of pentacles. It's more of like that knowing your worth, going with the flow, uh, trusting the universe, okay? Um, I do feel like you accepting the situation for what it is, but also this person that you dealt with could be wanting, you know, could have tried to come back multiple times or now they're coming back, you know, sooner than you think. But either way, you just know your worth now. But I mean, if this person comes in, yes, you're going to have your guard up. You are, you, but they broke your heart. They hurt you. You don't know if they're going to do it again. Maybe you gave this person multiple chances. Now for Taurus, I feel that you guys are very, very loyal, committed. It's very hard to break that bond. Tauruses are loyal. Now I feel like the downfall is you're very nurturing. So you give this person, you know, more than one chance. Um, but when it's done, it's done. It's done. There's nothing that this person can really do to get you back when you're at that point. I think you are tired of the shadow part. Shadow is, is very, you know, how important it is to work on that, right? So I feel like there's just a lot going on here, a big transition, transformation here, but also it could be a recommitment. It's either something, I feel a lot of you are wanting something new, but as you're releasing this past energy, it's like, it's like now, you know, they're wanting to come back. Maybe they do this a lot to you. Maybe they could feel you moving on and then, you know, they come in. Um, but I do feel like you guys are, either way, if they come in or not, you're going to have your guard up because, you you know, they hurt you and it took, you're just tired of this. So if they're not working on themselves, it's like you're not wanting to have a relationship with their shadow side anymore. It's like either they need to work on this or you can, they can just go there. You guys could go your separate ways, okay? Because without this being worked on, and all the toxicity can really drain your energy. So I feel like that's why you're gonna be very suspicious um, if they do come back in your life, okay? But a lot of you have a, something great coming in, new love, a happily ever after, and I feel like you are trusting the timing of the universe and letting things unfold naturally and just focusing on your finances, your stability within your home, your family, your loved ones. 
and looking at your long-term goals. And when this comes in, you'll know when it comes in because it's in the cards. It's here for you. Love is here. So obviously it's coming in for you. It's just more of this energy with the nine of wands energy. It's just not going to be anybody. You want someone that is loyal and trustworthy like you. I feel like that's the most important for a Taurus. It's not the looks. I mean, yes, you could attraction is important too, I feel, but it's more of like their soul. It's like, okay, they can be good looking, but also that's not all you're going to go after just because they're good looking, maybe in the past, but not now. There's more to a person than that. And I feel like that's what you're wanting. I feel like you already experienced that. I'm sorry. Let's see what this um, person has to say. Yeah, you're mentally moving on from this person. You're not dealing with that energy anymore or those type of energies anymore. <laughs> I want to tell you how I feel. Just being near you is intoxicating. These cards are really jumpy. I'm attracted to you. Hmm, interesting. I love you unconditionally. I'm starting to understand our connection. This could be somebody in the past coming back, but you don't see this coming. A lot of you, maybe this is in the past situation, but this person, there's a lot of emotion here. They could be going through some hard times right now though. Definitely, because we have the shadow here. I don't usually say that, but usually, this is all saying that this person wants to tell you that you're intoxicating to them, just being near you. They're attracted to you. They love you. And they're starting to understand the connection, why you were in their life in the first place. Take what resonates with these cards, definitely. All right, let's see what the messages of love oracles have to say. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. We have marriage for some of you guys. Marriage, trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Someone is seeking. Sorry guys, the video cut out. I don't know where it cut out, but we do have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time okay so this could be also this new person coming in with this eight of cups you're already with them talking to them okay and completely over the past um take what resonates but this is someone who is definitely loves you very much um and wanting to tell you this so you could already be dealing with your the soulmate here a lot of love here Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Let's get one more for you guys. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Well, Taurus, this is a strong reading for someone. This feels like either the past is either coming back <laughs> right working things out releasing any of their shadow or this is somebody completely new in your life or coming in your life okay regardless you have love coming in but the choice is always yours in the end all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here if you do like this reading or if it helped in any way please like comment and subscribe god bless